Hello and welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. How is everybody? I know uh, some of you are just going to be hopping on here as soon as the uh, Facebook lets everybody know that we are here. So I'm going to check and see who is on uh, Facebook. And I'm going to see. Oh my gosh, I have some cool, cool stuff to tell you guys. So, but what we're going to be working on today is um, there's something really cool that's going on. So number one, Watercolor Wednesday is going on. So I hope you guys will join us there. Um, the other thing is I have a whole new series for you. That's right. So, hey, welcome. I see you guys are hopping on. Hello and welcome. So, so this new Sith artist. So, I have spent, um, instead of time on Netflix, I've been spending some time with some other artists of mine and asking them some great questions for all of you. So I'm hoping to bring you a new thing in 2023. And so not apes, not everybody paints like things that I do. So I'm going to be interviewing other artists. And that way you can get a sense of the other types of watercolor painting that goes on. All right. So I've got some editing that I'm doing right now. It's a lot of work, but I'm hoping to bring you guys. So we'll still have watercolor Wednesday, but this is just an addition to. And so we've got oh oh we've got abstract got surrealism i've got contemporary watercolorists uh, i've got some amazing people that do like photo realistic and hello and welcome hey put in the chat um who you are and where you're from. I'd love to know. We're gonna work on a little mini piece. So on Sunday, I was driving home and I found this sweet little scene and I wanted to pull over and paint it, but I just wasn't feeling up to it. And sometimes you just need to know when to relax and take a day off and that was me last saturday last saturday i needed a rest day and wow <laughs> i never knew during the day that was quite interesting but anyway that was nice uh so you gotta take care of your health you got to take care of your mental aspects. That's why most of us even do watercolor, right? So this scene that I'm going to do, it's actually a crazy, crazy subject matter. It's a subject matter I've never done before. But before I talk about, about that, heard yet, I am doing a little demo over at uh well it's online but it's over in <laughs> it's in canada holy cow canada so we don't even have to travel anymore we have zoom and so if you want to sign up for that you can sign up for that um, put in the comments if you're interested let me know i will send you the 
the link. I'm not even sure that they're charging for it. Um, we've got some other upcoming stuff going on. We've got Idaho that's just around the corner. So for all you Idaho peeps that are on here watching, I know there's a couple of you, I will be up your way soon. We've got the San Diego Watercolor Society. That's coming next month. Um, wait, January, February. No, I'm doing a demo in February. Um, but the, you can come to that demo. Do, do, do. What else? What else? What else? Wow, I should have wrote down like everything that is going on. Let's see. I'm going to click on the comments so it shows me. All right. And so it should start showing me your guys' comments. Go ahead and put the comments in over here. If you're not at the YouTube channel, I think if you put uh, the comments in the YouTube channel, I know I see them faster minute for the other. So I'm super stoked. I'm looking for this picture. Um, do, do, do. So we all know that I like to keep a sketchbook, right? And I just made a video about sketchbooks. I showed all the different types of sketchbooks. Uh, it's really good to work on the design for your painting. And if you spend a little bit of time with design, you can create a really nice, strong piece. And so without any further ado, we're just going to hop right into this bad boy. Oh, this is, uh, thanks for asking. This is, La this is a gouache painting. So do you guys want to see gouache or do you want to see a watercolor? Go ahead and put it in the comments. Hey, Elizabeth, how's it going? Good to see you. And yeah, thank you. Happy Watercolor Wednesday to you more. So this is La Jolla Shores. This is all done. So you guys are getting to see a little something extra before my demo. And um, so we have our sketchbook. Now there's one big, so this whole episode is about making mistakes. All right, so if I had it for you right now, I would, here, here you go, right here. Right here is a no, and here's a yes, all right? <laughs> Maybe I'll just do that for the algorithm, whatever. So, so today, that people are making with their watercolor. And that is not um, me picking on you or making fun, but there's something you got to know about um, watercolor and design work. So say for instance, I have, hey, I have a brand new pen. Look at this. Sharpie makes pens. Now, let me put this. Dun, dun, dun. All right, got our Sharpie pen. So we've got this thing here. So there I was, just minding my own business, driving down the road, and I saw this thing here. You ever seen this? Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so we have this thing called planes. All right, so this is one plane. All right, so I've put a little one right there. So what it, I need a second plane to make this actually be something. I'm not sure what's going on with my camera. So we're actually gonna, 
circle right here. And it's round circle. See that? Okay, as soon as you guys know what I'm drawing, let me know. Put in the comments if you know what I am drawing. So this thing was like this, like this, and then there was another plane. There's a tree. There's some trees behind here. There's a tree here. And then there was something behind this deal. All right, I'm looking for comments. All right, and then maybe you've seen this. The first winner, the first one to guess is a winner. That's right. It's a gas. Oh my gosh. So I interviewed an artist and we got on the topic about painting and not every painting needs to be something that you're worried about selling. Well, why does that matter? Sometimes your, tr your beautiful, authentic self can come out, all right? So we've got a tree. So I'm creating these planes, not airplanes, smarty pants. I'm creating some depth. And this tree comes like this. And there's another building back here. And there's some more stuff back there. Okay. And then we get to the fun part. There's this circle. And then there's this thing right there. And this comes here. Who's ever been to the Circle K? That's right. Some of you have been to a Circle K. Some of you have not. You're like, what is Circle K? Circle K is like a gas station. So we got the 76 gas at the Circle K. So you're like, this is a boring subject, eh? It's not. Because... There's more facets, and this is going to build. So we started with a rectangle. We put a circle, right, for the good old 76 sign. And then we've put another tree here and another tree here, right? And then there's a car comes here. So I'm always working my big shapes. All right, there's a car here like this. Don't ask me what kind of car it is. It's just a hoopty, yo. It's just a nice little hoopty car. It's really not even uh, matters at this point but it's a car right if you say so we got this window now one of my buddies that comes on here he has a page john and john you're the one that taught me how to do cars thank you I wish I could say Joseph Zavukovic taught me how to do cars. But soon, someday, maybe Alvaro will want to teach me how to do cars. And uh, all right, so those guys are amazing. All right, so we got a car. 
and this car's got some serious frontage there. Now, the best part, right? The best part, how much are the gas prices? Well, before I do that, there's a car right here. And there's some nice brushes here. Okay, so right here, I'm drawing out this grid. And why again are we doing a painting, Gabriel? Well, people like that actually know what they're talking about more than I do, like Andy Evenson and uh, Francis, uh, Francisco Fontaine and Angela Barbie and another male out there, like, uh, oh, what's that one handsome guy's name? Oh, George Paulites. So these folks have been doing art uh, for a while and I've interviewed them and uh, as soon as I edit them, I will have them up here on the YouTube channel. And what it was, was there's something goes to say about the next self that really matters. So this, this thing is $4 in, uh, 89 cents. So you catch my drift. Uh, we've got another little line here. There's some diagonal lines here. And of course, my car can go a little bit here. Just so it's not transparent. This is a drawing, right? all eight of you, and this is a photograph. This is much more interesting to look at than taking a photograph of this. Seriously don't know what's up with the glitching. I apologize. All right, so we've got this photo, which I recently took. So, when I'm talking about planes, that's when I see some paintings that look flat. What am I talking about? So, do you remember when we used to do little drawings like this? And our house went right to the edge of the paper. And then we had our little car here and that went the wheels even went right to the edge there's the door and we did a tree and that tree was here do you remember drawing like that we didn't know any better right well now you do all right are you doing drawing planes with cool sketching maker that looks good. So, L, if we are making a nice sketch, our layers. So for instance, a house. So if I put a house here, like this, right? We've got one plane here. This is a second plane. And I could actually beg to differ. This is still one plane. But what if I'm behind this house? Okay. Like that. Now we have two planes. This is plane number one. This is 
plane number two. All right. And then let's say that we have a little walkway here. And we've got a little doorway here. Now, a little trick with foreshortening. If you're having problems with foreshortening, meaning if I have a train track, these lines go back tighter, okay? And just like if there were some poles, they would get smaller, right? To finish. If I have a doorway and I have a person that's here, I need to draw this person so that when they do get over there, it looks like when they're going to get over there, they're actually going to go under the door. This is no different, all right? I see this, this other mistake happen with artists. So you do these really cool because you know, nowadays there's so much eating outdoors and all right. So we've got, say, the guy at the churro stand, right? And he's right here under the umbrella selling the churros, right? What are churros? Some of you Midwesters are asking. A churro is like this really cool long thing that has like, it's crunchy and it's got cinnamon and sugar on it. Ooh, birthday is the all right? Uh, okay. Well, if I have a person that is standing closer to us, this person is going to go walk over there. Right? His head needs to fit underneath this umbrella. All right? Say, okay, so say if this guy's going towards the churro stand, but we got a couple that's leaving the churro stand there anywhere. Maybe they're like uh, right here. Wow, those, those two are real lovebirds. They're super close. <laughs> All right. So we've got these people walking towards us. They're underneath the umbrella. So about time this guy gets there, then he too is now under the umbrella. I hope so. So if I have another umbrella over here, and this is his competition, but this person is selling lemonade. Okay. So, but this, this one is a little bit further away. See how it's just a titch smaller, but the umbrellas are about the same height and all these heads still fit under the umbrella. Now his legs are like down here. So the heads stay where they need to be and the legs get longer. All right, so we've got plane number one, number two, and what if we want to put something here in the front? Maybe there's like a little tree here in the front of the house. Okay, maybe there's a, a bush thing here like that. Maybe there's another tree back here. All right. So it's time to do some watercolor painting because that's what this is, show is called, watercolor. That would actually be nice and dark because it's further away.
All right. See that? You see how that just popped that roof forward? Okay. Nothing is really straight on top of the roof of the house. So let's just add a chimney. And let's add a shaded part of the house. There we go. All right. So creating planes. Um, if we were to look at these things sideways, there'd be elements stacked this way. If I were to take this and we look at it this way, there'd be one plane, the foreground, second plane, mid-ground, and then background, right? You can even put a mountain here, right? Okay, so do-do-do. Let's look at it. cooking for singles. All right. I'm always impressed with people who can put pen to paper and make it look like something. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Is there an ideal magical minimum number of planes for... No, you can have several uh, planes. Um, but there's going to come like a moment of asking yourself, uh, you know, how can I make this uh, painting uh, read really well? Here's mistake number three. You take a picture. It's vertical, and out of somewhere, you just completely forgot what you're doing here and what's going on, and you try to make this format in, into a horizontal. No, 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 no. You need to stick with the game plan, all right? And unless you really just don't want things to happen for you and you want to make some trouble for yourself, be my guest. And so um, I'm actually going to remove this tape because actually um, I'm very honored to have Daniel Smith, uh, Art Machine Joe's um, part of my life. Um, they're not paying for me to say that, but yeah, I have been blessed by them in numerous ways. Some of you know my uh, other parts of my life. So here we got our sketch. All right. And here we got our photo. Doesn't this sketch look a lot more funner and interesting than this photo? Yeah. So here we go. I'm going to line right here. Um, I'm excited to actually uh, paint this sign. I'm really looking forward to how this is going to turn out. I have not painted this sign before. So you are seeing firsthand me just uh, work this in my brain. So whatever that means. And... No, but yeah, here we got some stuff back here. And then we got this trees back here. Okay. And am I thinking in my head, oh, yeah, the gas station or Circle K is going to buy this? No. I'm just having a good time hanging out with you guys. And we're painting something that creates. a good visual communication. So really, I'm just comparing this to this. You know, obviously, I'm scaling this down. And it goes something like that. And then we've got our car. And 
and the car doesn't need to be completely in the picture. Uh, meaning it's running off here of the page. We've got the wheel. Well, I really don't know what. Um, I don't even know that. I'm just making a general car. Okay. And we might change it up just a little bit. And uh, we're going to draw some lines that bring us into the painting. So these lines are like, hey, this is where we're looking. So it's called implied lines. We've got some windows here. And uh, we've got another window here. And uh, this thing comes here and over like so. And then we've got our sign here. And um, we've got these prices. I'm just drawing this grid section in business right now. I'm not trying to get any numbers in there. Or dun, dun, dun. That car looks a little flat compared to my other sketch, so I'm going to make it a little more whimsical. Bring this up like this and like that. And uh, put this wheel back a little further like that. And it's really not going to be... I just needed to get looking at the sign. Okay, and there's that other car here. Just some kind of reference. There we go. Now I'm going to just put this away and we're just going to look at just this piece now. All right. I'm not going to hold myself to any photo. I'm not going to hold myself to any drawing. The reason being is we're talking about planes. If I paint this right, um, it's going to be a really nice painting because of planes. So one of the biggest mistakes, number four, is not having the right paint brushes. So you need one mop brush and some synthetics of, sorry, water. And this one's going to hold very little water. Here's my cup. This is my fiber castle. It collapses. This thing has been awesome. I've ran over it and <laughs> still alive. Thank goodness. I've just got some nice alkaline water that I'm going to use. All right. And uh, here's my palette. So now we're just going to move that over here, open up this palette, and right away, I'm just going to go after this sky. I need that sky just nice and light. So we've got some lavender, and I'm going to get some nice lavender going. I've got a nice little napkin here. Also in my hand, just, and I'm actually going to paint this whole area, even where the trees are. Okay, getting some more color. That top, I like that type, that top to be nice and blue. And value. Do, do, do. Gonna get in some 
lovely kind of gritty color here. All right, and then bring it back with some blue. Like that. Come back like this. And that is plain. That's a plane of our sky. And then over the top of this, this we're going to end up some lovely trees. And those are going to be in front of the sky. Let's go ahead and put some ground color right here. So that ground is kind of red. But that would read as kind of like dirt in my painting. But if I take a little bit of cobalt blue, I can make a really nice gray. This was, this is the answer today, to today. If you haven't gotten uh, summed up, you know, like if you haven't got a sub, uh, subscribed yet, <laughs> spit it out. Um, if you haven't subscribed, you're not getting, you know, notifications. Uh, every day I do a little 60 minute thing and we had a question about mixing compliments. So I've got a cool color here, brown, and I've got a cool color, blue. And look at this. It's neutralized. I'm going to put that right here. Now I'm going to add some water. Oh, you guys, I still almost put my brush in my coffee. Luckily, I don't have any coffee. All right, this is going to go really nice and light. To make sure it goes light, I'm going to actually turn it back. Look at that. Really isn't much to look at right now. <laughs> this just looks ugly. That's why we don't give up on our journey in life. And the same reason we won't give up on a painting. Well, let's get that first coat on our sign. We've got this uh, orange. Look at that. It just wanted to be painted orange already. Holy cow. That underside is kind of more of like a, a brown. Right here. Am I worried about it being perfect right now? No, not at all. So it might go a little bit longer, but we're at the halfway mark. And I'm super stoked that you're all here. Uh, the other thing we got up and coming, which I'm excited about, is um, just some travel. Uh, so we're going to Italy, thank goodness. Um, for, I'm super excited for that. We're going to go ahead and put in this car. Um, just, just to knock it down right now. I don't need to do any details other than just to make another plane. Okay. So, have you guys ordered any, uh, I'm just curious if anybody has ordered it because it has changed a lot um, in my paintings recently. Uh, my process, I almost feel like I've gone back to college where I'm experimenting again. It's been kind of refreshing. And to show you, if you weren't here earlier, this piece right here, um, it just, it's so nice and I love that atmospheric. So to the other question we had, and some of you that are here answered it, I'm super stoked. So I asked if watercolor is an opaque medium. And I showed um, another painting that I did recently. 
with gouache. And let me see if it's over here. Do, do, do. It is not. It ran on. Uh, so, I, but, oh my gosh, this painting that I'm working on. Super cool. Super good time. All right. So I have these brushes now. These brushes are going to go right in for our next plane for our background over our trees. And I need nice, thick paint. Okay, so I'm going to start up here. And um, I want areas where my little birds can fly through. Okay. That's going to go right there. And then it's going to come here. Like that. And get some more thick paint right in here. And we got this next section here. Look at that. I am painting with the side of my brush. I know when people are just kind of watching because I feel I've done it myself. Mistake number five or number next <laughs> is not really watching, but watching. And I'm not painting like this, like a pencil. I'm painting with the side. Okay. I'm getting thick paint because this is still kind of damp. I'm looking at my reference photo, just kind of thinking how this thing kind of uh, is right behind lovely sign, not really lovely sign. <laughs> you catch it by drift. You smell what I'm putting down. All right. So I need a nice hard edge right here, but there's parts of the tree. There we go. We've got some more tree edge that comes this way. I'm just kind of skimming the surface of our paper. There we go. That side, Dunsky. Wait, I might put a little bit of turquoise. Yeah, right here. Right there. Boom. Dunsky. Now we've got some tree edge over here with that turquoise. So it kind of starts like um, you can work, you can work. Uh, from the center of the tree out, or from the out, all right? It's so funny. I look up, and one minute it's saying five followers. The next minute it's saying 12 followers. It's so funny. All right, so here we go. I'm working my way in. I'm just thinking about how the tree is coming towards or behind that plane. We need this sign to pop forward. So it's going to build up our atmosphere. So in the way this tree is built, too, it's kind of tucked just right behind that sign. Look at that. You know what's cool is this pyral orange also, check this out, that pyral orange is also in the gouache guys the gouache group where are we where's where where's the gouache so here's our gouache and dun, 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 there it is pyro orange and pyro red 
So, so there's a lot of cross painting with Daniel Smith. Then you're used to certain colors. Then you can now be painting with so much joy and happiness, knowing that you're already used to certain, uh, maybe traditional colors, I guess. All right, we got this tree on this side of the sign. And uh, here we go. Lines should start popping forward. I get this other section down. I need to add a little bit of water here. And we've got this tree over in the distance there. And then we've got a tree. Look, we need to make that tree a little more bluer. I'm going to get into this lavender. Okay. A little more lavender. There we go. And then I can go almost like nice, just straight up lavender now for those buildings that are in the distance here. I'm going to leave a little bit of uh, white above our car. There we go. Nice. All right, we are moving along. Well, over here, so I'm working my way down on this background planes. And there's this cool color that almost looks like buff titanium. So I'm going to get some of that buff titanium. And right here is this other building. And um, I think it's one of those like payday loan places that you should never um, take your money to. <laughs> uh, you can you can find some way to hustle instead of take out a money loan. The high interest rates are just <gasps> just so sad. All right, we've got this. There's a green on this building. It comes like that. Right behind this book. Right. So we've got that little payday loan place back there. And what else is back there? I don't know. There's there's some kind of another little sign. Maybe it's the sign to this place. Right there. And then there's like some other dark colors. There's just uh, fun, some fun shapes. And then I got our car. That car is... It's a white car, so I need to get some, some white. But I don't make it white, but I'm going to make it gray. And then that car's got some windows, so this part of the car is white. And we need to get some gray windows going on. Not too sharp. If I make this car window too sharp, you're going to look over there. And I've lost you. And so, here we go. There's a car. It's a payday loan. There's a sign. There's a car. That's it. I don't need to get too cray cray on those details because that's just atmosphere and ambiance mistake number six i don't know what do you guys what mistake number i'm on i think it's number six mistake number six hard shape details in your background 
So did you notice how I just made a generalized shape, called it good, and then moved on? That's what you want to do. Those things back there are just uh, indicators of other things that we typically see. Hope that makes sense. Do, do, do. Well, I'm going to hop over to Facebook, see who was over at the Facebook land. Do, do, do. Let's see what's going on over in Facebook land. Any questions over there? Mm -hmm. All right. Holy cow. It's already been 50 minutes, y'all. And, uh, all right, look, Nancy's here. All right, hey, Nancy. And then we got Susan Little. Hello, Susan Little. Who else we got? Naomi, hello. We've got Texas here. We've got Kansas. Oh, my goodness. Hey, there you are. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, for encouraging my behavior and coming over here. Well, well this car looks like it uh, and uh, a little bit darker. So here we go, the undercarriage of the car. And then we've got our wheel, this under part of the car, and right here. And just for fun, let's just turn this upside down. And let gravity paint this car for us like that i'm gonna add a little thing of water so i'm using in this perla because it'll hold less water if i get out my mop um uh, it's gonna have too much much water okay now ah, let's see what this car looks like wow that looks like a car to me Obviously, it needs um, uh, a little white accents, of course. All right, so we got a wheel. There's a wheel here. And this wheel is kind of turned in towards us. And this one's like this. Bear with me. Now, we go over here before they know this, right? And unless you've got some other fancy car. I'm sure someone out there can prove me wrong. They got some other cool car. There. That's actually running a little fast. Let's go ahead and finish up this wheel. I don't know about y'all, but my car needs some air in the tires. <laughs> no, literally, my car, I noticed today. Um, just with all the cars, it's been kind of fluctuating a little, and it needs some air. So, yes, I need to go adult and go put some air in my tires. Look, so seriously, here's my coffee cup, right? Good old Starbucks. Look in there. Can you see? No, you guys can't see. There's a big thing of paint. I'm going to have to wash this. Super good. Oh, so silly. Look at this. So let's get into some white and then put it into this gray. See up here? This is where you're at right now. <laughs> Watercolor. All right. Wednesday. Look at that. I'm going to put that little bit of titanium in there. And it's going to do its own magic. I'm going to put this right in there. Did I color this in perfect? No. Oh, this is watercolor. This is not. Look at that. You're starting to see the windows come through. We can actually put a little bit of that white right in here. Look at this. And here. Boom. Look at the. That's a car, folks. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for coming to the circus today. Come see our show tomorrow. Same time. All right, I'm being super silly. Um, that shadow kind of fades out a little. I'm saving the sign for last. Because that's where I have to get all tight and controlled. That's lovely. Let's get in here and make some ground thingies. So from here, I'm going to and touch, touch, and here, and touch, and touch, like that. There's this, and here, boom. Man, those gas prices need to go down for real. <laughs> no joke. All right, we got some yellow. I notice this needs to be just a titch more something than it is not. So look at this. I'm not gonna color that in like a coloring book, but it just needed just a little like spice. That's why folks, we taste our food before we start adding some salt and pepper to it. All right. Well, we got our sign here. It's just dying for us to paint it. Before I go there, little lovely thing of green right here. Look at that. Boom. Planes. We're, we're making planes. <laughs> I'm being silly. Um, I think we all need to laugh a little more. Amen. If you agree, put it. If you know Jesus, you say amen. So put in the chat. We need to laugh more. Say I agree or amen. So we've got this little thing that comes like this. I'm not worried about making this a perfect sign of. Um, it, am I worried about Circle K knocking on my door and saying, hey, sir, I need you to fix that. All right, so here we go. This is the bottom of the sign. And I'll move my hand out of the way. Um, and turn that. Upside down, upside down. Who sings that song? Um, turn it around. Upside down. You can turn your photo upside down. And now you can paint upside down too. All right, so. 76 sign. Let's do this. Let's be about it. Okay. It kind of goes dark here. So actually what I need to do. I'm going. If I paint this upside down. This this darker color I'm about to put down. Will then bleed into here. But if we do, 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 do. Check that out. Oh my goodness. How is it that he doesn't charge for all these wonderful tips and tricks? I just want to share the love, my friends. I'm just so, um, I like it when people hook, hook me up and I'm all right. 
Look at our sign. It's coming along. It's coming along. Come along. All right. So I'm going to check back on Facebook. Are there some things that you all want to see painted? Put it in the comments. And um, I haven't forgot about Naomi and doing another um, critique. I just uh, wanted to make sure I wasn't putting her all on the spot. All right. I just picked a random picture and I said, hey, let's let me critique that. But I will then just wait. And if you guys want to do another critique where you send in a, a painting and you want me to uh, just tell you where you can make an amazing thing, let me know. All right. So we've got our sign there, right? I don't have to quite put the 76 yet. And I've got this camera right here. <laughs> so the camera is here and my face is right there. So in order for me to do that, I have to do this. That's not going to work. <laughs> so, hi. <laughs> Enough of the jokes, buddy. Get back to work. You've only got, oh, if some of you got to go. I'm so sorry. I just noticed what time it was, but I'm going to keep painting. If you want to hang out a little bit longer, that's rad. So, I mean, we're just going to be here painting the gas station sign. All right. I'm just taking my time. Putting in this sign, you know, just don't sweat the small stuff on this. I'm not, I don't have to make this perfect. Yes, and I know I already said that already. So we're going to get into some white. I'm just going to mix that right in my page and see what, nope, don't like it. So let's try this. Nope, don't like that either. Uh, let's try this. Oh, there it is. There's the color. Oh, no. Where'd he go? There. So, heaven forbid, watercolor can be turned in to an opaque color. There he goes with that opaqueness thing again. So... I'm, I'm just super excited, like, to be inspired to paint and look at this, look at this K, boom, circle K in the house, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, all right, there's this line up here. The line I lost. All right. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that camera just a second ago. Like, hello. It's not Halloween right now. Don't need no spookiness. All right. I'm putting a little bit of browns around it up in here just because it's going to pop forward. Um, I'm just going to slap in some of this buff titanium. If you don't have buff titanium, I've been telling y'all, it's such an amazing color, but I need just a little more of this to it, a little bit of that to it, and we're going for, uh, there we go, and then... This thing, this thing, voila. Uh, 
Uh, this is water color, so we're letting some of that. Wow, we're almost to the numbers. Can you believe it? How's he gonna paint those numbers? I have to keep watching to see. This is either gonna go really good or really bad. <laughs> All right, so check this out. Remember I've been talking about how having the new gouache has made some new really cool opportunities so if I'm act that's right you heard you heard right <gasps> he's gonna turn this into a mixed media painting that's right all right here we go um, we now have the sign painted and we need some prices right prices right. I I would I would just be so tickled if someone seriously has been on the prices right. If you've been on the prices right or had a family member let me know. <laughs> All right, the silly stuff that I said. Oh wait, oh look at that. You see what I just did by accident? <gasps> oh I just added, did you, oh my gosh, did you see that? Holy cow, so, look at that. I just made room for, oh, watch out. So that's mistake number seven. <laughs> you might have just found like something new to do just by accident, but now I'm not gonna go, Here's the mistake. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Anything so you know, I got a whole polka dotted mistake. Okay. All right. And just put it on the top of my building back here. It's not much, but it's something. Look at that. You can't really even notice the difference, can you? But if I do do this. Gonna get a little bit of an edge, soft edge, soft edge. All right, I'll take that little bit of that white, and there's this part of the window that needs some loving. Right, there's a glare right there that's not white, and there's a glare right here that's obviously not white. Look at that. This car almost looks like Night Raider. Whoever watched Night Raider, name a show that you used to watch as a kid that they don't air. I'm curious, what's a show that you have not seen them? <laughs> And don't say Saved by the Bell, because I just saw Saved by the Bell. There's a, he there's a headlight. That's a better headlight right there. Tell the light, can't see it. It's too far out. There is some little thing above the wheel here, but I'm not going to put it. And we've got a little bit of our windshield right there. Get the price. Okay, let's get to our prices. I mean, I could do the 76. Okay, let's do some prices. Well, here's the thing, though. The prices are actually on black. So, check this out. I need to first come in here. I need to first paint this in here like that. A 
Okay, so I don't want anybody getting off this uh, watercolor live Wednesday today. And jump in your car, take your pictures, driving down the road. I parked my car as a responsible citizen of San Diego and took this picture, okay? I wasn't hanging out uh, side my car like I always do with other things. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this particular time, I'll just try something out here. Yeah, it needed that green. Plain. There we go. We got some nice planes. Now, I get to bring this back out. So... If we look here, uh, this sign actually has green, yellow, and blue. Do you see that? They're not white, my friends. So let's get out of green. Green, that's a new gouache color. Uh, we need a yellow, so let's go Hansa Yellow Light. And I said the other color was a blue, so we will go with cobalt blue. Actually, lavender would be the best. Um, out here. This is the pouch you need to get. When you go traveling, TSA will see that you are an organized professional. So in here, uh, we should have lavender. Yes, we've got lavender. I'm going to use that. And we've got the Titan Light and so actually i think these are the three plus white that's in the new daniel smith um uh they got a little mini set and you could buy and it comes with the extra white with these three primary colors all right gina hunt hello i'm the only one why Watching this, no, there's six other people over here on YouTube, Gina, and let's see who else is on. And we've got some other people on Facebook still. So I am over. So you're not the only one. So this is the reason why I like Perla is because of that tip. <clears throat> that tip. I don't need to get out my other brush. I do have a nice little tiny brush. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. All right. Look at this. Diesel prices. Six. Six. Forty-nine. Holy cow. So we've got this six. Like that. I'm not worried about the dot. And there's a nine. Like that. And then you can't read this price, so we're just going to move on to the next one. Gina, laughing out loud. LOL. You're such a teaser pants. That's all right. I know our next. All right, I gotta pull up some tricks up my sleeve. All right, we're gonna bust out the Hansa yellow light. Look, and I'm just dipping right into this bad boy, going full strength. No holes by. Here we go. 
So we got four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. And uh, we could put some little extra extra strength in here like this and build it up. That is right. I've been using watercolor and now we are using wash. All right, over here, if you pay cash, you save a whole whopping 10 cents. Four eighty-nine. So I'm painting this pretty loose right now because Really, it's not the star that should. And then we got four ninety nine over here. I gotta keep them somewhat the same size. And we've got five oh nine. Five oh nine, jeez. So if you could do the math, if your car holds fourteen gallons. Some cars hold a lot more than that. So um, the way those lights are, which is pretty cool, is I can actually go over the top of this and put in lavender to make it have that shimmery look. I'm watching myself on YouTube. All right, I'm, I'm watching myself over here uh, live on Facebook. Too funny. Uh, say Naomi's here. And uh, look, see Kathleen. Hey. Do, do, do. Too fun being here on Streamline. What a good time. All right back on track how far over oh my goodness 449 um i'm i'm in charge today to get rid of the christmas tree who still has but in the comments and if you're watching this later and you uh, aren't on the live and your christmas tree is up please put it in the comments and I'll get a good laugh, like in, uh, like, May. All right, so we've got little things of lavender here. It's uh, going to make it just razzle-dazzle. There we go. All right. I will add some white later <laughs> okay twist my arm not my painting arm here we go we got lava we got white titanium so this is a blue white okay we've got our sign and the six so let's look at this bad boy. I'm going to paint a seven here. I'm just looking at the angles, okay? Here's my seven. And then we've got our six. Dun, dun, dun. And this comes like that. And then this comes like this. And there's a little thing there. Boom, 76 in the house. Now we need some ultramarine blue. Holy cow, this is the thing. Where did I put the lid? Oh my goodness. So, here's a tip. You got an old tube? Keep the caps.
Mistake number eight. <laughs> Put your caps where you're going to find them. Hey, we have a new person here. Uh, Betos Sound. Dang late. Sorry. Oh, dang late. Story of my life. Got here for the white highlights. Hey, no worries. I will post this and you can watch the replay stuff. And thanks for joining. If you want to know and get the alerts when I'm on next, which is every week, just go ahead and subscribe. Love to have you be part of our friendship here. All right. So here's the trick. Don't paint. Don't paint it in solid. And I'll show you what I mean here. Just leave some areas of that orange from earlier to pop through, yo. Okay. And it's going to look as if the it's rotating like the sign does. All right. Seventy six. I was actually fun fact I was born by centennial year. Does anybody know what bicentennial year was? It was when the silver dollar came out or was it the 50 cent piece holy cow anyhow 1975 gina there are nine people here <laughs> all right i remember holy cow when we were all in covid and there were so many peeps uh hopping on facebook uh, um, when I was going live, I was, I was going out there and doing these plein air pieces. And uh, now we're on the YouTube. All right. So, could I do some more to this? I sure could. And, um, but am I happy with it right now? Uh, yes, I am. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. And thank you. I know I went a little over it, but I hope. Um, here's the sketch again. And here's the photo. And so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, oh, actually, you know what? So I'm going to take my Tombow. So this is a green Tombow. And the sun's going. I should turn another light on. Oh, credits are already up. So please, when you sign a painting, give yourself at least a finger width in and a finger width this way. And put that bad boy in. Nice. And confident like you mean it don't miss tip number eight mistakes misspelling your name when you're signing it <laughs> don't want to misspell your name when you're saying it thank you so much I've enjoyed having you guys on here and again, look forward to the podcast that's coming out. Um, I talked about it. You can watch the replay if you came late. Um, so first, there are going to be videos that are going to be on here. Um, it's not going to replace Watercolor Wednesday. What it's going to be is an extra thing to get you through the week. I am an ambassador of Daniel Smith and of Escola. And um, actually, Joseph Escoda, uh, the one that makes my brushes, is going to be uh, in an interview as well. And we've got some amazing other guests lined up. 
that's going to be addition to the content coming here to this page. So thank you so much. I appreciate and adore you guys, all of you that are here here on YouTube. And thank you to Streamline for offering this opportunity that I can have um, you guys both uh, on the same time and the same day. All right. Have a wonderful day. Keep your paintbrushes wet. Gina said when. I am going to post that. So the way that you are going to know, I've already in it. Great. Thank you for asking, Gina. So um, type of artist. I've already interviewed uh, not even quite half. I think I got more than 24 lined up. And there's going to be each week, there's going to be a day um, that I'm going to pick. And there will be a premiere. So here at YouTube, there's this thing called premieres. And if you are subscribed and you hit notifications, it's going to let you know when those podcasts here. And you'll just click on it. And you might have already done it before. It says notify me when this comes on. So I'm going to upload them all pretty much. But one is going to come out each week. And the first up and coming one is Carrie Weller. And I will show you her. Uh, right over here is her thumbnail. right now thank you for your patience and let's see nope that's not it that's more like coming up too we've got gouache painting tips for beginners that's up and coming we've got an interview with Escoda and uh, we've got Kelly Weller sorry Carrie Weller oh my goodness I'm so sorry all right. Do, do, do. What's the gene? I should put me on last, but I will totally show you guys Carrie's thumbnail. It was just here. So, do, do, do. all right. Does anybody know any good jokes while I'm pulling this up? Put them in the <laughs> comments. Any good dad jokes? Here we go. We got Carrie. All right, so we got my good friend, Carrie. Uh, she does, look at that. She painted that, isn't that wild? So she mixes right on the paper. She does these amazing, realistic, contemporary paintings. Um, so we had a wonderful, casual chat where I got to ask her questions. So she is going to be the first upcoming. Um, I'm just finishing up right now on editing our conversation, and that will be up here soon. Forward to some other great, amazing people. And um, let's see, there's some other question here. Wonderful. Thank you. Happy I caught the tail in. Uh, have a great week. Thank you so much, Beto Sound. And um, yeah, all right. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for sticking around. You guys, uh, I appreciate you encouraging my behavior. Have a wonderful day. And that you would like to paint that's not about making money, but making a beautiful something. All right, take care. Take care. See you. Oh, and I did upload some new videos. So hop on. If you go into uh, my like little area, my channel, there's a whole bunch of new other uh, pieces. Um, show you. That'd be that'd make more sense, huh? So if we go into YouTube, um, 
I'm not sure how to do screen share, so I will just show you guys. So if you go into my YouTube, you can see all of these other videos. So we got videos, all right, and then we've got shorts, and then these lives. So to find these, you will come here. And then if you go into playlists, there's playlists that go into specific things, all right? Like if you click here, I talk about the Gorilla Painter uh, uh, pocket box that uh, they sell over there at Cheap Joe's. All right. Well, have a wonderful time. I will talk to you guys later. Take care. See you. Bye.